Sam pointed a gun at the girl, asking her to take off her clothes one by one, even though her family was around. She had to do as she was told. Just a few hours ago, Sam had found the family. George came back inside to have dinner, but Sam was sitting in his own house. They looked at each other. They were polite on the outside, but the eyes had betrayed them. George panicked, asking him to leave. But Sam said, don't rush. If you want me to leave, just finish the meal first. But the atmosphere was really awkward. Sam still walked out. George sat seriously. He was drunk, so he did a lot of things that should not do. Let's put one size fits all. If you have anything to do with me, don't hurt my family. Sam didn't say anything. Smiling, he turned and left. George rushed back into the yard. He left the hound out to chase Sam. But George didn't know. Sam took a detour and came back to his house. He rushed in the door and held the wounded hound on the table. George saw it and went out to get his gun, but this was just an unloaded one.